Hey, in this video, I'm going to take a look at this product called Allure CRM. And they're one of these tools out here that they, they have a big vision. They're going to eat the world. And, and for $49 per month per seat, you can kind of see they're combining a whole lot of tools that might be in your marketing stack into one powerful CRM system. So we're going to put this to the test. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a trial and walk you through step by step everything I see. And we're going to see if their marketing message kind of meets up. Uh, to what is happening inside their product. Stay tuned. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. You know, I'm always looking at CR CRM technology, and I came across this one recently. This one is called Allure CRM. And, I mean, if you look at their feature list, these guys creating this, they have a pretty aggressive kind of concept with their CRM. In fact, probably best to go to pricing. You'll see their pricing, pretty reasonable. Uh, a little bit more expensive than, than many CRMs, but if you look at what they're offering you, they're saying that for that one price per user, $49 per seat per, uh, per month there, they're going to give you a whole bunch of other products that you might be using and eliminate those. You can kind of see here things like searching for email addresses. They're saying that's $39 per month. Uh, revealing all the social media profiles, you know, an integration with like a, a full contact or a clear bid, $99 a month. Automated drip campaigns, you know, whatever you might be using for that. Maybe HubSpot Sales Pro or MailShake or things like that. Scheduling meetings with Calendly, they've got that cost in there. File storage, that's a Dropbox icon, HubSpot. So they're saying that in this one product, they have all these things combined um, and that that's what makes their price and they're, and they're talking a lot about artificial intelligence here in terms of some of the things they do let's take a look at their sales intelligence so pretty aggressive scope here which caught my eye and I wanted to take a look at it so let's go ahead and sign up for free and walk through their onboarding and see really what their product looks like from the inside so I'm gonna go ahead put in my TechSmart boss email address set a password and uh, let's give it a little bit more. I like how they give you some instruction. And they want one special character. There we go. You can imagine what I just did there is did an exclamation mark. <laughs> and that's the problem when they have all those crazy requirements on there. People tend to simplify um, things. All right. So they sent me a confirmation email. What I'm going to do is pause this video for a second. I'm going to go out there and accept that and then log back in. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and put in that. I'll put in that password with the exclamation mark on the end. And let's see if we're going to get into their onboarding. All right, here we go. So CRM can be pretty uh, confusing. Now, I'm actually using Firefox here. Now, I will say, uh, and you can kind of see here, one of the first things they want you to do is add an extension to Chrome. They have a Chrome extension, which is going to be key to their email finder. Um, I'm going to skip this because I am using Firefox. We may come back to Chrome and take a look at that. But that's one thing to keep in mind. A lot of these tools these days require Chrome. I will tell you, I use Opera, and most of these plugins work extremely well with Opera. Every once in a while, you'll find one that will not. Next thing it wants to do is actually integrate with my email, which makes sense because they're going to do those drip campaign emails that we talked about. And it looks like they actually have a good set of um, integrations here. Many doing the drip campaigns are only doing Gmail and Outlook. They've got some Yahoo and some others. It'll be interesting to see if they can actually do drip through those others. Again, I would not recommend you use a Yahoo email account for business purposes, um, but maybe you're using the CIM for your personal. I, you know what? Even in your personal life, don't use a Yahoo email. Come on, let's use something more modern than that. Uh, I'll go ahead and click through and connect it up into my um, Gmail. And they're doing read, send, delete, view, modify, you know, normal type of stuff here. I'm not worried about those permissions. And we'll integrate our email. All right, so now we're into their onboarding. I like their look. They have a nice clean style here. Not a lot of distraction going on. I can see a, a nice search bar here asking me a question. So that kind of goes in their natural language search. Now I click on it. I can search for a prospect or a company, home, mailbox. This is my onboarding wizard. I'm pretty sure it tells me I've got 10 activities that I have yet to do. Um, they're already showing me they're pulling in some social media things by putting my picture there, which is always a nice touch on the onboarding. 
and they're saying there's three simple steps to get me started integrate with my mail I've done that add some prospects uh, via CSV upload send a drip campaign very nice and then pay now they have a lifetime deal special going on here which is what kind of caught my eye here let's click on this 10 and see what that actually represents um, okay so this is a more of a detailed onboarding so you know I, I like that they give you a very fast way to get started with those three steps and then they give me a more detailed 10 step process to really take me step by step through and you'll see in the account setup I've got my mail I've got my personal details I can edit uh, I can also set up my email signature you know really nice look at that I, I like that interface and I like the way they do that flow let's go back there before we get into the rest of it I can set up my business hours let's click through this add in my prospects uh, install that extension which I haven't done um, but it thinks I did uh, email okay so there's multiple ways you can add your prospects bulk uploading single search in the email finder okay let's see set up campaigns this is where you would set up your drip campaign looks like you can create some custom audiences that's uh, uh, interesting invite your team members let's take a look and see if I can look at the permissions um, so with a team I can set them up as a role let's see if I add people I've got the team there not seeing the permissions at that point but I may have to add an actual person before I get to that so not going to go down that path at the moment let's continue to look deal setup very important for your CRM that you can customize all of your stages and I see that they give you that so you can create your deal types uh, creation reason for deal loss new deals deal stages uh, and then tags on deals so that looks uh, really powerful nice well thought out system so far I'm seeing a lot of thought put into the CRM concept prospect management um, deal owners create and edit notes create and edit tasks create and edit events send individual mails and edit the uh, prospect details so that's an uh, interesting one log your sales calls they have a call app now that is interesting that you can uh, monitor calls to your clients looks like there's an app on your phone perhaps that they want you to download let's click there and see if it takes me out so it looks like it's an Android app at the moment um, be interesting to see if they have an iTunes it would be most companies start with the Apple and then go to the Android so they might have gone a little different than that but that's a that's a you know that right there is pretty unique in most CRM spaces so that that's interesting document management attach documents edit delete documents view list of viewers so this again is is taking things like HubSpot CRM gives you I think five documents it'll track by free in their sales uh, tools uh, if you do the sales pro upgrade you get unlimited but there's a lot of other tools like tout app and doxify and things like that that lets you manage documents um, I used to use um, I can't remember their name attach.io to do this they have this built in so this is a nice touch uh, email credit so it looks like you might have to pay extra for uh, doing some of that email discovery let's take a look at the buy now so okay so the email finder out of the box you're going to get 200 credits available and then you can uh, buy additional now I do not know at this point if that's a recurring every month I get 200 or if I just use those 200 and I'm buying credits I was wondering how they would do that because when you look at products like Growbots or find that lead you have to pay for those you have a, a, a credit so that that'll be interesting if you pay for more and then this is the thing that they said was uh, kind of like a replacement for Calendly. It looks like you got some calendar integration, create calendar events, and create tasks. So uh, pretty, you know, none of this is complex stuff, but it all shows the power of their product to have all these pieces integrated into one platform, which is really nice. I'm going to click on the home to get back to that main screen. I don't have any data whatsoever loaded into that. And in this particular video, I don't want to take the time to do that I just want to explore and have you take a look at what I'm seeing but now from this home dashboard here it ties everything together send an email send a mail a campaign in a mail that's different so this is a drip campaign this is a mail add your prospects your companies your deals okay view everything 
invite teammates, create, edit, or set teams, targets, deal types, all the things that we saw kind of in those setups. And then we've got some links to some pre-programmed reports here that I should have no data. Just take a look at their dashboard. Very nice. There's a team view and a personal view, which is nice. Uh, and um, they've got some interesting concepts here about life cycle funnel and velocity, which uh, intrigue me a little bit, as well as some campaign monitoring. Um, so this looks like it's, I want to see another one of those. Let's look at um, that call log. Yeah, so type and duration, number of calls. That's really interesting how they can do that. Now, I'm going to add a prospect and just see how that process flows, and we'll wrap this video up here. Um, so now, we got the email finder. We got the email verifier. So again, these are things that are going to eat up those credits. And looks like, uh, oh, you can even purchase a curated list, which I don't recommend. But maybe this is where they're kind of basing it on some demographics you give them and they go out and purchase a list. That's very common to like the grow bots and the reply.ios and find that lead and, and those sorts of services. Uh, let's just do an email verifier on myself and see if I can add myself into here. So I'm going to verify that. And say, so now that, that's probably going to use one of my credits. That'll be interesting. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and view the profile, see what it adds for me. So now I'm in here as a contact, and then what I can do is I can pick a deal stages, deal type, deal owner, campaign status. So this is on that drip campaign. It's going to tell me if the email bounced back or uh, if they replied, the auto replies into your Gmail. What's nice about that, that's going through your email account, not through their email servers, which is going to, you know, have your own security set up with your DKIM and your SPF and, and DMARC. And uh, also just looks looks a little bit more authentic when they do that. So I like the way they do the drip. That's how Mailshake does it, and and uh, also uh, HubSpot uh, sequences. Lead owner. If I had a team, I could add some tags, number of phone calls, number of emails, custom fields. I hadn't seen yet where I can add custom fields, but I like the fact that that's there. Tells me I can. Let's edit this and see. Uh, yeah, I can't edit that. But it picked up, you know, this is where the social enrichment comes in. It picked up my my picture. It picked up my company. It pulled this from LinkedIn, looks like. My position, Chief Executive Officer and President 5000 Fish. Picked up my website. Yeah, it's picking up my 5000 Fish information. All my social information, even my clout. So definitely doing some nice social enrichment on this, which is nice. And from this view, I can click to edit those. Uh, and over here is where I can probably add some notes and stuff. Yep, so I can add notes, events, tasks, a deal, send an email to this person. Let's add a note. And I, I, like, I like their screens. This is nice. It's got lots of information laid out. It's got some required. And I'll just put a couple things here. I can tag teammates. Really powerful there. Let's save that note and see how that looks in the timeline. And there it is. Uh, let's go over here and... If I click to send an email, there, and I can even put reminders there. So I, 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 this looks like a, a really nice, well thought out product. Let's go in this mailbox here and see what's in there. In, inbox is empty. This probably takes me to those reports that we saw before. Let's take a look at leaderboard. And let's just do a little search. Let's search by company now that I've got that in there. There it is. So we've got some search going on there that is pulling in my contact already. I've got some smart filterings going on here. So the only thing I would have to do at this point is go through their onboarding, import some contacts, build out some custom fields to, to, to merge in with your uh, merge in with your process. And then, you know, one thing I'm not seeing right now is integration with tools like Zapier which might be on their roadmap. Uh, I would. I don't see anything about a Zapier integration at the moment. Oh, wait, integration. I may have spoke. Ah, okay. So they're integrating with Pipedrive, HubSpot, SalesFlare. That's interesting because they kind of compete with HubSpot and SalesFlare. Maybe they're pulling in some, some marketing information there, but it looks like I do not see a Zapier integration yet. I'm sure they're probably working on that. Uh, but Hopefully, this gives you an idea to go out and try to take a look at this product called Allure. 
Um, they're combining out a big vision here. They're combining a lot of technology, and it looks like I haven't, of course, you know, kicked the tires and tested a lot of the features in here. But I will say that their vision of combining a lot of tools into one platform is uh, looks like it's a real deal in here. And then the one thing that you know we really didn't touch into is some of their AI. I think AI is overused term. You know, machine language is a little bit more authentic. But they're they're talking about how they respond to your uh, set your follow up reminders and automatically reply to customers and schedule your meetings and things. They've got some AI hooked up to it. So if you like this video, go ahead and uh, one subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment, check out our Facebook page, go out to TechSmartBoss.com, see all the other stuff we're doing, and uh, subscribe. And we'll be with another video really soon. Thanks.